one one thing that makes it special is it was it happened before television okay so it's kind of lost in history it's a historical treasure chest that sat around in a closet for many years until I was able to get this documentary together uh, it was largely unknown story well I think what really makes it special is it shows how uh, people from Mexico were very big part of Americana back then and very big part of this entire uh, movement of bringing bubblegum back uh, you know, into the fold and back to being a mainstream commodity because it was more or less lost uh, at, as a result of uh, rationing and also as a result of, uh, of the Great Depression. It was just a commodity that never really got off the ground. But uh, my father worked with Mexican people and was able to get the latex that he needed to produce it, okay? And because he spoke Spanish, he was able to obtain what he needed. One thing I want to make sure that people understand, especially the people of Mexico, is that uh, it couldn't have been done without them. They own this, and they own a part of Americana. I mean, as far as I can think of things that I've done with my life and in my life, I would have to put this at the top. This is the most important thing for me to do is to preserve my dad's legacy. Uh, I'm an only child. There was nobody else who was gonna do it. There were some false starts in getting this done. And uh, it came down to really having to persevere and work through some hard issues in order to, to see it through. It took, uh, it took a few years because you know, you're on a, a micro budget. Um, this isn't a Hollywood thing that can be done mechanically and uh, it, ha it has to be uh, done throughout the uh, you know, many years in order to get it done. You start out at the beginning just basically pulling all your evidence together, which is like tons of pictures, uh, letters, uh, paperwork, uh, you know, old 16 millimeter films. Uh, and you know, you have to go and get them digitized, pull them together. We planned on doing um, uh, historical reenactments and uh, there were some historical reenactments uh, filmed in around the Austin area uh, like the ones for Mexico were actually filmed in um, in Dripping Springs at Reimer Ranch and what's really interesting is I've got friends who, who live in Monterey and, they, and they've looked at the footages and said that man that really looks like going to Monterey and they didn't even know where we'd filmed it they just assumed we filmed it in Mexico so that those things turned out really well. When I was getting the historical marker put on my dad's old factory uh, there was a lady from the Hidalgo County Historical Commission and she was saying, you know, this is really great experience here being able to put this uh, historical marker on the building today because a lot of our kids grow up thinking that uh, they're, they're from a place that really doesn't mean anything or isn't very important or, or not a great place, but seeing this kind of positive story uh, really makes us feel great and that's why it's important to people of the valley okay the the valley is largely uh, latino okay and they need to understand that they are important and that in it they were important to the story and uh to the way the united states and mexico deals with one another um it's to me it's always been a great handshake of two great cultures coming together and doing good things um, obviously in the news as of late there have been you know things that have been negative and uh, it really hurts my heart to see things like this that they're they're not true um, and I just want the people of the valley to know that uh, that they're not forgotten certainly and they they play a very important part again in in Americana and uh, and this nation